Thank you. So this is Teddy. I must introduce him first of all. He's six years old. He's a great Pyrenees. Uh, he does therapy work. He uh, goes to Special Olympics. We visit uh, the elderly. Uh, we do Therapy Dog Day here at UCSB. And he often uh, comes to class with me as well as my other two. I have three of these guys, believe it or not. So uh, my little story is about uh, two very divergent kinds of uh, topics. One is chasing ocean eddies, which is what I get paid to do. And the second concerns chasing sheep in the Pyrenean Mountains, which is what his cousin you see here is paid to do. So anyway, at the end, we'll do a little compare contrast to see who actually does better. The actual location where you're going to see the pictures today from an area marked by two here, just south of Lourdes. And um, my friend Terry um, Strom and I were there last summer at a really huge dog show in this area. And uh, so I have some pictures that uh, she was able to take while I was migrating through sheep. So the, uh, the ocean side of the story is what does it take to track an ocean eddy? So this is a location of one particular eddy. This depiction shows uh, the Big Island of Hawaii. This is Maui. Winds accelerate through this channel called the Halemui Haha Channel and spins up eddies in this region. This is one particular eddy that we studied in 2005, trying to figure out how much carbon um, is uh, basically sequestered deeper in the ocean due to these eddies. So this is what this particular eddy looks like. So it spins around something like this, which is all wonderful. And uh, the real problem, though, is chasing the eddy. The eddy doesn't stay in one spot like you'd like for it to, to be able to sample with slow moving ships that go uh, maybe 10 knots or something like that, but then stopping in between. Here are two of the ships that we use. Here's a satellite image to help guide us to see where approximately we need to go. This is a uh, ocean collar image shown right here with chlorophyll. This is the planned track to try to figure out how we can uh, really see what's going on in depth. Satellites don't give us information depth, so we have to get information depth from the ships. This is what we planned. This is what ended up because the eddy migrates. So we were eddy chasers. So what we try to do is to reconstruct. OK, thank you. We try to reconstruct what's going on with respect to uh, these eddies. And we see basically a 3D visualization that we're able to get. Now, it's the more interesting part are the dogs. And so this is uh, <laughs> uh, this is going up one of the Tour de France mountains um, up to a peak, and uh, we were basically embedded in the sheep. And uh, this shows the sheep down below, the sheep up above. They make it to the top, and this may be my last thirty seconds, but this is the important part. Here you see this is one of the reasons I really wanted to go to this area, and this shows you a guy, one of his cousins working the block, going through uh, this area. You'll see him making his way across. He's keeping track of where these sheep are, which is pretty phenomenal. And you also see here at the very end, there's one straggler. And he goes back, make sure the straggler is there. And that's the story on uh, what we have. And I did want to just real show you my other two dogs. So these are my three great parents. Thank you. And bow wow for today.